Uh, we thought it would be uh, really important for us to introduce one of our recovery coaches here at the Champion Plan to you. Andrew uh, is a young man who grew up here in the city. Uh, he's a father, and uh, he's one of the Champion Plan recovery coaches here. And I, I think he, I think his story is compelling, and I asked him to share it with you. Good afternoon. My name is Andrew Ledoux, and I'm a recovery coach here at the Champion Plan in Brockton. Um, two years ago at this time, I was homeless on the street, um, completely desperate, broken. Sorry, just trying to get no, it a little good. closer for you. <clears throat> you're taller than he is. <laughs> Not as tall as you, though. So two years ago at this time, I was homeless on the streets of Brockton. Um, I really had no sense of direction, zero hope. I had absolutely nothing. Um, and honestly, I did not want to get help at that time. But for some reason, my father gave me a call. At that time, I wasn't in touch with my father whatsoever. Um, but he gave me a phone call because he heard about the program called the Champion Plan. And I went to the police station. I believe it was um, July or August of 2016. And um, I went to the police station. And within 10 minutes, somebody was there to pick me up and take me back to our center here. And um, I was placed into a detox. Within 48 hours of being placed into that detox, I left. Um, but I went back to the champion plan because I remember how they treated me with, you know, uh, support, respect. They actually genuinely cared about me and my well-being. So I went back, and I went back multiple times. And eventually I made it on to a CSS, I made it on to a TSS, and I made it on to a halfway house uh, located in Norton, Mass. And that's really where, you know, my journey began. It started. And, you know, the champion plan was there the entire way. From 72 hours in detox, Mary Lou began doing my follow-ups and seeing how I was and asking how she could support me um, to move forward in recovery. And um, I don't know, that halfway house I was at was actually, it, it was great. It definitely served its purpose, and from there I began doing a lot of events here with you know the staff at the Champion Plan, uh, the Night Out for Recovery last year. Um, there was a few different events that I went to, and somewhere down that line in those follow-ups, like I said, uh, at the Champion Plan, we begin follow-ups at 72 hours and follow them up all the way to two years. And in between those follow-ups, um, the relationship grew, and it just continued to grow. Um, they offered me to go to the Recovery Coach Academy in Quincy, Mass, um, at a New Way Recovery Center, and that was July of 2017. And in February of this year, they offered me a position here at the Champion Plan, um, and I love it. I should, I'm forever grateful for it. But today, my life looks completely different. Um, there's two reasons why I'm passionate about this work. One, obviously, because I'm living in long-term recovery. Two, because I lost my brother from a heroin overdose um, on September 18th of 2010 at the age of 22 years old. But like I said, today my life looks completely different than what it was two years ago. Um, I'm a father. I live in a beautiful home. I live in a beautiful town um, with my girlfriend, my one-year-old son, Luca. Uh, we're expecting our second child together August 2nd of this year. And um, thank you. Um, my oldest son, Bentley, he'll be five in September, and I'm able to be a full-time father to him as well. I see him on the weekends. And that's completely different from what my life looked like, and that's all because, you know, the champion plan and the support that they gave me and the resources that they offered to me. Um, also, I, I was a high school dropout. I got my GED while I was incarcerated in 2014. But since then, I, uh, I got hooked up with Mass Rehab. I went back to school and I've been able to make the Dean's List the last three semesters at Massasoit Community College. Um, it's, it's unbelievable what, how much help is really out there. It's just a matter of navigating it and finding what resources will best fit for that individual. Um, but yeah, so this morning I was able to send in my application to become a certified addictions recovery coach. Um, so as well as you know the Recovery Coach Academy that I attended, I also uh, completed 500 hours of internship hours. Thank you. And like I, like I was just saying, that's really when um, you learn you're on the front lines because we never know the situation that's gonna come our way. Um, just being able to handle it, knowing what's out there for resources and what's out there for help, 
um, like my passions here to work with individuals who suffer with substance use disorder. I believe that I, I can confidently say that's why I was you know, put on this earth. It's my purpose. It's my passion. Um, I've never been passionate about anything in my entire life, but I can confidently say that that's one thing I am passionate about. Um, and like when it comes to with my brother passing away, like now after doing a lot of serious work on myself, this, to this day, the only sense I can make of that is maybe he had to die so I could live my life. Um, and I know he's, you know, looking down, he's happy, he's proud because of the way my life turned away. Um, <clears throat> But, and today, I didn't come here to show off my accomplishments whatsoever. I came here to talk about that anybody can do the same thing I did. It's just a matter of finding the resources. When a participant comes to the champion plan and asks me, um, how did I do it? What did I do? And my answer is simple. The only difference between me and that individual is I utilize all the resources that this state has to offer. That's it. And um, over time, I accumulated a lot of things. and. That's really it. Like, there's a lot of work to do, um, but the resources are there, 100%. Um, but I want to thank the Champion Plan, everybody here for letting me share my story, all my coworkers, and um, Mayor Bill Carpenter. Thank you, guys.